Hey, hello and welcome to this really fun update again by Flowmotion. Okay, maybe you have seen my new features in After Effects 2023 video and at the end I was promising some big news. And now it's official. So After Effects will go more into the 3D direction and we are already able to import and work with 3D objects. Maybe I repeat this once again, as this is really unbelievable. So, yes, we are now able to import and work with 3D objects directly in After Effects. Boring, you talk too much. Okay, got you. So, in 10 seconds, I will show you all you need to know. Why in 10 seconds? Well, because that gives you enough time to hit the subscribe button and to not miss any future updates or new features. Normally I also do pretty interesting visual effects tutorials. Okay, now I'm already within a new composition and we will find our way from simple to advanced. So let's import a 3D object. Hey man, that is not possible. Let's just try it. Ta-da! I would say it is possible. When importing I click on comp size to not get frustrated with the scaling and I even have a few additional import options over here as well. Hey, and I also already have textures on my object. That is, well, how shall I say it? That could simply be the best thing since the invention of After Effects. Okay, let's bring this one step further. We can get some camera tools by hitting C and this really works super fast. And a small hint here, you can click here on the render settings and decrease or increase to work even faster. So. Let's quickly add a background video to this. And yes, this is all truly interactive 3D. So let's bring in a cool pilot for that plane. And quickly key out and you guessed it, make that layer 3D. And now I can position it perfectly wherever I want to have him. And I can quickly do the same with a dirt texture for the windshield. Hey, and of course, we will add a light to the scene. Should be backlit as the sun or that planet shines from behind. So the 3D objects also work in all views. So the best for this is the top view. Okay, pretty dark. So let's also add an ambient light to just brighten up everything ever so slightly. I would say this is super cool. So let's jump to a second scene where I will show you some more cool features. Let's bring in the interior of a house and let me directly place some footage behind the window as before. So to get this going even faster, I can simply hit the draft button and now, hey, it's real time. And over here, you can also add a grid for better three dimensional working and also enable this framing here and now you see what's outside the box, which, well, how shall I say it this time? This could be the best idea since they added the 3D space to After Effects. So let's now quickly create a text, make it 3D and hey, extrude and bevel it a bit. Because the last thing I want to show you is that even 3D layers interact with 3D layers. So I can just slide this through the room no matter where it is in our layer stack, because now we don't think in layer stack from top to bottom anymore. That was so 2D. Now we think in depth. And last but not least, a cool trick to apply effects, as you cannot apply them directly to a 3D object. Simply create an adjustment layer, call it maybe levels, and now simply choose the object you want to apply the effect to as your track mat because this new feature allows you to use any layer as a track mat and you can use that one mat for as many layers as you wish. And now the adjustment layer only applies the effect to our 3D object. And if you also want to try this out, be aware that this is pretty new and at the moment only available in the beta version. But before you get disappointed, everyone can use the beta version. You find it here in your Creative Cloud Desktop app under Beta Apps. And as this is so new, I guess we will see a lot of new features coming very soon. So we can really take part in the decision making. 
So let me know in the comments what you want to have as features for the new 3D workflow within After Effects and I will forward all of this to Adobe directly. Hey, but for now, I wish you a lot of fun in the third dimension.